Hi, folks. This is Kevin Knebel in beautiful Monument, Colorado. And I want to say thank you for taking a few minutes out of your busy day to tune into this Schweiky Media Business Booster webinar series video. I've been very, very fortunate over, I don't know, the last three, four, five years to create a number of different videos on different topics related to social media. A lot of them are around LinkedIn and Twitter and some other tools. And uh, this is just another webinar in that series. So it's, it's an honor to do business with and to collaborate with the wonderful things at Schweiky, the wonderful people at Schweiky Media. What we're going to cover today is we're going to cover how to use a tool that a number of people are unfamiliar with in terms of using Twitter. So there's different tools that you can use which will enable your Twitter experience to be even better. If you've tuned into some of the other webinars that I've created in this series, you know that I've referred to Twitter often as kind of a car engine because it's built on what's referred to as open source software. So with open source software, that means other people with tape on their glasses and pocket protectors have the ability to create programs that integrate with Twitter because it's built on open source software. So there are many tools such as Hootsuite, which I covered in another webinar, and some other tools too, which turn on different features on Twitter that Twitter itself doesn't even offer. So from a real high level, you first want to familiarize yourself with the basic functionalities of Twitter, which I've already created a couple of webinars in this series on that. And if you have not watched those yet, you might want to go back and watch those. Once you've got the basic understanding of how to use Twitter, though, you're going to start to kind of, you're going to upgrade from a Ford to a Mercedes S500. You're going to start to use some more advanced tools to accelerate your access using Twitter. So. Right now you're looking at my Twitter homepage, and here we are. Um, I'm going to go now to a website called Twello. Now I have no affiliation with Twello, just like I have no affiliation with Hootsuite. I'm not, you know, I'm not a paid spokesperson for them. I've never even communicated with anybody at these organizations, but I sure use these tools, and I sure helped a lot of people generate millions of dollars in revenue, client acquisition, locate jobs, create referral arrangements, strategic alliances by using these tools. The thing about Twello is it's it's a very simple concept. Imagine if there were a yellow pages for Twitter. Now, you listening to me right now, you might be a young punk or punkette. Now, me, I'm kind of a fossil. You know, I'm an eight-track player in the world of iPods. I was around back when the earth was cooling and dinosaurs. The only reason I'm here is because I outran the dinosaurs. But if you're younger, you might be thinking, what the heck are yellow pages? Well, before Al Gore invented the Internet, we didn't have computers. We used to talk on the phone, and you used to get something called a yellow pages. That's what it was called, and it was a phone book full of phone numbers based on geography or based on, in the business yellow pages, based on industry. So if I wanted to find lawyers in Denver, Colorado, I would get a Denver phone book, and I would look in the lawyer section. If I wanted to find somebody that lived in my neighborhood, but not necessarily search by occupation, I would get a phone book for my town. So that's the basic concept behind Yellow Pages. With Twello, it's, isn't that funny? I have to explain that nowadays. It's crazy. With Twello, Twello is a play on words. Twitter and Yellow. Pretty simple. Twitter plus Yellow is Twello. So once you get a basic understanding of how to use Twitter, I'm going to suggest you go over to Twello and you open up a free Twello account. Just use the same login and password that you use in Twitter, and you are going to sync your Twitter account with Twello. I'm not going to get into that right now because it's so simple, it's self-explanatory. Go to Twello.com, open up a free Twello account. It's going to ask for your Twitter ID, login, and it's going to sync the accounts. Now, on Twitter, you have a very brief bio. This is it, 160 characters. That's it. You have your name, you have your handle, you have your bio, you have the town you live in. I play with this, airplanes and hotels, because I travel so much. You have a link to one website, and it automatically tells when you joined Twitter. Well, that's it. Twitter is all about brevity. When you go to Twello, there's a lot more room. So here we are on Twello. Let's go to my account. When we go to my account, I can see just about all the information I can see on Twitter, but unlike Twitter where I have a 160 character headline or bio, on Twello, I have up to 2,000 characters. Now, if you've tuned into any of these other videos in this series, you know when we covered LinkedIn, 
If we go to my LinkedIn profile, on LinkedIn you have what's called a summary. And ironically, your summary is 2,000 characters. So what I suggest is take your summary from LinkedIn so you don't have to reinvent the wheel, copy it, and paste it into Twello. So now in Twello, people can learn a lot more than 160 characters. They can learn up to 2,000 characters about who you are and what you do. You can also, on Twitter, you can only add a link to one website. If you have your own website, that's what I would suggest. If you're an employee of someone and you don't have your own website, I would suggest the link in your Twitter account go to your LinkedIn profile. Well, in Twello, you can go to all kinds of different places. You can go to your website. You can go link it to your Facebook page, your LinkedIn page, your YouTube page, multiple social media platforms. So you can link from your Twello account to those platforms. You can also tag yourself. So just like if you were in a phone book, if I was in a phone book right now, I live in Monument, Colorado, I would probably be in the professional speaker category. I would be in the author category. I would be in the social media specialist category. I would be in a number of categories related to what it is I do, either professionally, personally, or both. Maybe I would put myself in the skiing catalog or the fish, or, I'm sorry, category or the fishing category or the golf category or the wine category. Well, you can do the same exact thing here on Twello. So it would make sense for you to put yourself into whatever category is your occupation and then maybe some other related categories or even some things you like to do for fun or for hobbies. Why would you do this? Well, because you're going to see in a couple seconds how you're going to be able to find people based on industry, based on occupation, based on ho hobbies, pastimes, interests. So all you're doing is you're creating your Twello profile and you're just getting some additional bells and whistles that you don't have with Twitter. So now we've created our Twello profile. And that's great. Now, let's look at a couple ways you could use this. If I, if I am in business and I want to do business with people in a particular uh, role or industry, I could use Twello to find those people. So let's say I want to do business with CEOs. So I type in CEO. And once I type in, I'm sorry, let me type in executive. That's a little bit easier. Executive. So once I type in executive, it starts giving me suggestions as to what kind of people I might want to look for. Now, for some reason, I put this in a couple minutes ago, and when I hit search, it's not searching. <laughs> so it's, it's making it difficult for me. Let's try that again. Let's go to categories, and let's try executives. Executive. Normally this works. For some reason it's acting a little bit strange. So let's go and let's just go down here and let's go to, let's say I'm trying to do business with CEOs. I can just scroll down to CEO. So when I find CEOs, how do you spell CEO? Oh, that's right, CEO. So when I click on CEO, it's now going to pull up all of the people who have put themselves on Twitter in the CEO category, including Bill Gates. Now, it usually shows this in descending order of followers, almost 25 million followers. If I click follow, I am now following him just like I would be on Twitter. I could also click on his profile and on his name and open up his profile and see whatever information is in Bill Gates' um, account, including subscriptions, lists, things like that. So I'm using Twello as a tool to find people based on um, occupation, industry, whatever, and I can do this in all kinds of different ways. There's different lists here. I can do it by Twello members. I can do it by tags. So real simple, simple uh, concept here. The kind of people that you're looking to do business with, be hired by, refer to, whatever, you can type it in here. For some reason, it didn't work for me a few moments ago, so I had to manually look through the list. But you, you get the basic idea. If I want to see all the supported tags, I can see all the supported tags, and then I can click on any particular. If I want to find people affiliated with airlines, I click on airlines. It's going to put up all the people 
that are related to airlines. First, it's going to show lists, and then I could actually click on the list and see the 141 people. If I go down below the list, then I get into the actual users. If I want to follow JetBlue, and then we get into the human beings, into the Richard Bransons, and then we go, go, then we go on and on and on. So you got the basic idea. You could use Twello as a tool to follow people or organizations that you want to do business with in some manner. But there's another really cool feature here, and I'm showing you the free features. I do not have a paid Trello account. I'm guessing that there are additional bells and whistles that they will turn on at a premium level. I've never gone that route, but I've got tremendous usage out of this just at the free level for many years. There's a feature here called Trello Hood. Now, this is a pretty cool feature. What this does is it's a map of the world. So it's showing me if I click on Albania, there are 720 people in Albania on Twello, and it will show me those people. Well, let's go to the United States. So here I am in the United States, and when I click on United States, give it a second to come up, it's going to show me a list of states. So it's going to break down the United States by state. So here I live in Colorado currently, so let's just say that I'm looking to connect with uh, people on Twitter in Colorado. So give it one more second for this to come up. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds. I'm not quite sure why that is, but sometimes it does. So here's the United States. Now it's showing me states. So if I go, I can see there's 25,000 people in Alabama on Twello. Well, I'm going to go to Colorado, where there are 38,321 people on Twello. I click on Colorado, and this is going to pull up a map of Colorado. Now, I live in Monument, Colorado, which is right here. I live in a little small town just north of Colorado Springs and just south of Denver. There's, here it's telling me there are 58 people in my town on Twello. Well, that's really interesting information. I was just in Aspen a week and a half ago at the Aspen Music Festival going through an opera and a couple of symphonies. If I wanted to do more business with people in Aspen, I can see there's 227 there. So if I hit Colorado Cities, it is literally going to pull up every city in Colorado that has people in that particular city. So let's say I wanted to do more business with people in Aspen. Well, I just go to Aspen. I click on Aspen, and now it's going to pull up Aspen right here, 227 people, 12 people in Snowmass Village, which is a little town just outside of Aspen. But if I go below, it's going to show me the people in Aspen on Twello. So now if I said, hey, this guy looks interesting, follow more than likely, unless he's Kim Kardashian, he's probably going to follow me back. Hey, this guy looks pretty interesting, follow more than likely, he's probably going to follow me back. So for whatever reason, you know, these people have decided to get on Twello, which I think was a smart thing, and now I can use Twello to identify individuals based, by, based on geography, based on industry, based on a number of different keywords, what a strategic tool to use. If I were looking to do more business with people in Aspen, I would certainly be following the people in Aspen. Most people on Twitter follow you back. A lot of the celebrities don't, but most normal, rational, you know, normal human beings that aren't famous Kim Kardashian type people, they're probably going to follow you back. And if you've ever studied or listened to any of the things that I teach in this webinar series or in any of my speaking training or coaching engagements around the world or on different products and services that are available on my website, you know that almost everything I teach comes back to the simple core concept of opening conversations. Any success you've ever had in your life at one point or another came from a conversation. I don't have enough time to prove that right now, so just take my word for it. It's absolutely true. Otherwise, if you don't have conversations, you're going to be using outdated, throw a lot of mud on the wall, hopefully something's going to stick somewhere kind of methods that have a very low return, whereas conversations that are non-slick, salesy, awkward, or creepy, conversations that are rooted in taking a sincere interest in other people, conversations that are based in what I refer to as my pay-it-forward business model, those conversations lead to clients, they lead to referrals, and they lead to all kinds of wonderful things. So Twello is a great tool. I would highly encourage you to go set up a free Twello account at Twello.com, sync it, to your Twitter account, create your profile, put yourself in the appropriate categories, 
Find the people you want to follow by categories and follow them. They'll probably follow you back. And then use the geographic feature where you can actually get a map of the world, of a state, of a country, whatever, and you can find people based on geography. Let me just wrap up by just reminding you on who I am. My name is Kevin Knebel. I'm an international speaker, author, trainer, and executive coach. I speak all around the world. I'm based out of Monument, Colorado, but on any particular day, I could be in Sydney, Australia, London, England. I could be in Austin, Texas, wherever. If you go to my website at kevinknebel.com, Knebel is five letters. It really looks like it needs another vowel, kevinknebel.com. You can click right here and sign up for my free newsletter and get over 30 minutes of tips and strategies using LinkedIn. And you'll get also my newsletter with all kinds of information on a weekly basis that will help you both personally and professionally. If I can ever help you in any way, I am more than happy to help you. I'm as close as the phone or email. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'll follow you back. Please feel free to send me a LinkedIn invitation and mention that you heard me on this Schweiki Media webinar. Please feel free to join my 24-7, 365 cocktail party on Facebook. So on behalf of the Schweiki Media Business Builder webinar series, I want to say thank Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day, and I will see you in another webinar in this series. Have a great day. God bless.